Hello, everybody. I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And let's see if this works on the first try. Wouldn't that be something? And Autpunk is here, too. Did it work? Did it work? It worked. Ooh, Cthulhu. Okay, so this is the fourth haunted hotel game. This one is Charles Dexter Ward. Now, the last three games have been interesting. There's this haunted hotel that isn't haunted. The first game, there was like some sort of time travel stuff going on with a giant like void monster that made everything cold and windy. In the second game, we got no plot, zero plot, but at the end, we arrested the priest from the first game. And then in the third game, there was actually plot but it didn't really make any sense because our, our decision was that we were just going to trap the bad guys in the hotel and send them back in time with the time machine. So they stopped using the time machine. Not entirely sure why that was the plan, but that was the plan. And yeah, there were ghosts too. You would think that would be better. I mean, the first one, it was kind of haunted by this weird void monster thing that might have been a ghost or like the amalgamation of a bunch of ghosts. Like, ah, uh, what was the horror movie? The House on Haunted Hill? Not the one where like, the one where everybody dies. Actually, both of them, everybody dies. It's not the one with the lady whose mother is like, just died and is haunting her. It's the other one. I never remember which one is which. Any rate, the... There was a big ghosty thing, but there wasn't anything. No, there's the Haunting of Hill House, and then there's the House on Haunted Hill. And I never remember which one is which. And I'm not looking it up right now. I will look it up later. <laughs> um, yeah, so there was a big amalgamation ghost. All right, at any rate, this game, I am betting, is... A complete reboot of the series. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, part of that is because the title, or subtitle I guess, is Charles Dexter Ward, which sounded really familiar all the times I'd been seeing it and I couldn't place it. He is the main character of a H.P. Lovecraft novel by the same name. And the name of uh, the short, it's actually not a novel, it's a short story. It's The Case of Charles Dexter Ward. And he wrote it in 1927, and it was published after he died in 1941. I, I didn't know if it had anything to do with that, but then when the loading screen had the Cthulhu, I'm guessing it does. Now, I don't actually know if Cthulhu is in this short story. I don't think he is, or it is. Um, I haven't read this short story. I have read some Lovecraft, but not a lot of it. The brief um, thing I read about Charles, Charles Dexter Ward was um, he was in an insane asylum and was trying to bring back to life his ancestor that looked just like him. So that could be the plot. We could go back to the haunted hotel that isn't really haunted. We could go back to the time traveling thing. We could do something completely different, but it does look like they are going with Lovecraft angle since Cthulhu was in here and this is the title of one of his short stories. All right, so I think I've talked long enough about that, and let's go. And we are definitely casual. My brother's name is Charles Dexter Ward. He disappeared more than a week ago. The police and the press tell me he probably just left town. but Charles would never leave without telling me where he was going. A few days ago, I arrived home to find something strange. A small box had appeared as if out of nowhere. It was stamped with a strange creature and initials J.C.
Inside was the chain Charles never took off. Uh oh. On the reverse was an address to a desolate swamp in the middle of nowhere. I have no choice but to follow the trail. Well, already the production value has gone up significantly. No, I do not want interactive help. All right, um, so apparently this is the mansion that was in the, um, I guess it doesn't really have cover art, but in the art that I found with a title on it. Let's see, we have a find it game right off the bat. Ah, traditional find it game. We have caught up with basically how these things work for most games. Um, everything in this game is kind of where it could actually be in reality. And there's a little thing at the bottom, and I suppose that's hint eventually. Okay, oh, caterpillar. Okay, so now we need to find things. Back to actually finding things instead of matching things. That was our last series of games. Let's see. Broom. Coin. Mushrooms. Brush. Eggplant. Or aubergine. I think that's how you say that. Nest. Nest. Bullet. Oh good, more bullets. The last Haunted Hotel games. Well, not the last one, but the one before that had all the bullets. Like all of them. There was a bullet in every room at least. And then there were also... There was also one room that was just full of weapons. Like machine guns, machetes. It was kind of crazy. That was the second game. Metal cross. No, I didn't find the bullet yet. And scissors. I saw scissors. Is this scissors? Yes. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. That's like a machine gun bullet. They ain't kidding around. Complete a hidden object. Oh, good. We get Chivos in this one. Aw. Okay, so this one has a little task menu. And this one also has the item menu. But unfortunately, you still can't lock it open. Wow, that's a weird bird dude thing, by the hint. Huh. That's kind of weird too, but let's see what else we can find here. Entrance, patio, electrical pole. I think I've played this game. I've totally played this game. I don't remember anything about it, but I, re but I remember playing the game with the weird black thing. That's the black void monster thing from the first game, I think. I'd fix the power if I could get on top of the pole, which means we need a ladder. Gates are locked up tight. Okay. What's this? My dear sister, first, I apologize for my rapid departure. I was contacted by a lawyer who claimed we had inherited a hotel from a long-lost uncle by the name of John Kerwin. Kerwin is his ancestor in the book. I decided to look into the matter before speaking to you in case of possible fraud, but the claim is valid. Remember our dream of living in a large house with family all around? Well, this is the house, at least. The, well, this is the house, at least. Okay. The estate is lakeside and larger than the orphanage building where we grew up. I should be here for another three days to finish paperwork. I know practically nothing about this lost Uncle Kerwin, but I have, but I value his generosity. Your brother, Charles. Wait, I don't want to pick up the skull? Oh. I mean, I don't want to pick up the skull, but that's usually how this works in these games. It's Charles's watch. I know he's been here. You don't want to get it? Okay. Getting wood to build a ladder. Can't move that giant stump. Oh, this game is from 2012, by the way. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, too. So, at that point in time, there was a lot of very... Oh! Charles, so this is where you've been all this time. 
That's never good. What was that thing? Where did it take Charles? I have to get him back. I don't remember what I was saying. Something about graphics. Uh-oh. These boards have seen better days. A strong hit with something hard should knock them down. Do I have anything? I could just hit them with some wood. But that would work. No, oh, huh? Alright, I guess we need to find a hammer. Or a big rock. Like that one. That they won't let me pick up. This chain might come in handy, but it's too oily to grab with my hands. I mean, if you don't want to get dirty, it's too oily to grab with your hands. Oh, okay, that's just the bike. A birdhouse. Why is there a fish hook in the birdhouse? A snake. That snake looks very angry. I don't want to tangle with a poisonous snake. Venomous. Maybe I can drive it away from the window somehow. Like with a board or a stick. Nope. Not gonna let me open the boards, huh? Oh, because I gotta get rid of the snake first. I knew that. Can I go this way? No. What's in here? Rocks! Just what I always wanted. Alright, let's see. Tire swing. All of these games that have backyards have tire swings. It doesn't even matter if there's kids in the game or not. What are those? Pole spikes. A weird thing to find in the backyard. Okay, another find it puzzle. Fishing line. Oh, there we go. Cow. Kitty cat. Cow and a pineapple. Pineapple. And a book. And oh, there's a book. Ah, uh, let's see. Crown and a boat. A rocket ship. Oh, there's a crown. And a cage and a die. And a shoe. That. It's like an eyeball on something. Wait, didn't I see a shoe? Yeah, I did. There it is. Cigar and a flower and a strawberry. There's a strawberry. There's an axe. I need the axe. Oh, cow in the middle. Oh, that is not the shape I was looking for. Thank you, Up Punk. Um, what was I doing? Boat, cigar, and a flower. There's a flower. I thought I saw the cigar. Cigar. There's some asparagus. Asparagus grows out of the ground like that. Isn't that weird? Broccoli does too. It just like grows straight up out of the ground. I forgot what I was looking for already. This doesn't bode well. Boat in a cigar. I did not take my ADHD medication today. So this should be an interesting stream. I know I saw the cigar. Where is it? Okay, I have to actually look where I'm pointing and I have to actually look instead of trying to figure out what stuff is. It was weird. I thought my cursor changed for a second. You can't open stuff in this game, right? Usually when that happens, the the um, words change colors so you know if you can see it or not. The boat is on the basket. Oh, wow. I didn't see that at all. Good job, game. I am 80%. Oh, it's a guinea pig. See what I mean about ADHD? I, I am pretty sure I saw a cigar. Let's look for the cigar. Hmm. Okay, I don't see this freaking... the stupid... whatever it was. I'm sorry, isn't that a dragonfly? It just pointed to the dragonfly, right? Is that dragonfly called a cigar? Because I've never heard of that. Oh! It was underneath that guide thing. That's why I couldn't see it. Sheesh. All right, so now we have fishing line, boards, wood, oh, firewood, a metal cross. Ooh, and the fishing line can be combined with the fishing hook. So now we've moved on to combining things with the little plus. It doesn't open up a new window to, um, to let us see stuff up close, but we're getting closer to mod 
modernization, as it were. Oh, so we need two of these, don't we? Or no? Do we just need one? Okay, there's only one there. What am I supposed to do here? Oh no, I was just talking about this. <sighs> I hate these puzzles. Hot Punk agrees with me. Wait, why can't I pick that up? Oh, I had to keep the... And I gotta go, like... That, right? And then like that... And then like... No, I'm already doing it wrong, I think. I need to move this one. Yeah, I did do it wrong. Dag nabbit. I hate this puzzle. It's like the worst thing. Can I just reset? No, there's no reset button. Of course not. Ugh. Do I have a skip yet? No. Apparently this is called the, let me see if I can remember, the Tower of Hanoi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, it's in lots of hidden object puzzle games. It's like a favorite. See, why can't I just... Skipping is not for weaklings. Oh good. Someone is knocking on my door. Yeah, okay, I heard you the first time you knocked. What do you want? I'm sorry, what? Hold on a moment, please. I not see the sign on the door that says I'm recording a stream. Address, you don't have to look it up. No, oh, I'm recording, like live, with people watching. Suddenly a child. That was the youngest. He opens up, looks at me recording, and goes, Are you recording? I have a sign on my door that says I'm recording. It even has- oh wait, can I skip now? <gasps> Yay! He ate up enough time for me to skip. I'm not playing that puzzle. I know how to do it, but I'm not going to do it because it takes forever. And I did it wrong the first time, so. Oh yeah, I remember the crow with this, the key. Okay, the crow grabbed the key to that because crows are jerks, I guess. I'll be dead in the water if I don't fix the ferry before cutting the rope. That's reasonable. Oh, there's blood all over the place. Let's see. Beware the legendary monster... It said, keep out. Beware the legendary monster that inhabits these lands. Territory owned by J. Kerwin. John Kerwin, J.C., just like the box with Charles's necklace. Okay, what's wrong with this? The steering wheel is missing. Okay, well, that would definitely be something that you have to fix before you move the boat. Tree is blocking the wheel, but I can't move it. I need to get closer so I can grab the bottle. Oh, there's the wheel. Oh, can I just use... No, I probably need a, a pole for the fishing thing. Let's see. Oh, I need the bicycle chain to fix this. And we have another find it puzzle. That's a weird assortment of things to have in a barrel. Okay. Acorn clock measuring tape. Acorn clock. Just saw the measuring tape. There it is. See an all ladybug and a tape reel. Okay, ladybug. Tape reel. Is that that? Yeah, okay. Bow seed teapot. Are you a seed? You're a anise seed. I guess that doesn't count. Um, what did I say? Bow, not bowl. Bow seed teapot. That's a cashew. Cashews are also not seeds. I need a teapot. And, oh, I need a cashew, and a spoon, and a sledgehammer. I hope we get to keep the sledgehammer. They are very useful. Though at least not carrying a, that's a sunflower seed, okay. Not carrying a sledgehammer around with you for the whole game kind of makes sense because sledgehammers are really heavy. But like when they make you get rid of a screwdriver or like a pocket knife because you've used it once, that's just dumb. All right, is this the awl? I don't think awls are shaped like that. All right, teapot. Up oh, there it is. Sledgehammer, yay. That means we get to sledge something. Can I use that on the log? Nope. 
Okay, what am I looking at? Oh no, that's just the tree. I would imagine to move that I need a saw, not a sledgehammer. But, you know, if you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. All right. All or nothing, really, Aunt Punk? Ooh, another letter. Reaching the hotel wasn't an easy task. The locals refused to take me here. Even the one cabbie who finally agreed dropped me off over a mile away from the hotel, so I had to walk the rest of the way. I got, through a I got in through a window. The door had been boarded up a long time ago. The walls were decorated, but with truly horrifying painting paintings. Unacceptable images for most people. Ugly beasts, violent acts, stuff that they have oh wait stuff that could have only been dreamed up by a madman at times i thought i saw shadows moving in the corners but it must have been the general creepiness of the place making my mind play tricks on me i found a room with a fireplace to keep me warm and signs that kerwin himself was living here in here gs and that's the fountain oh is this the third note we only found one so far though right i think I guess those gargoy gargoyles weren't much for gardening. Ha ah, ha ha. Those look like the kind of gargoyles that come to life and try to eat you. Up oh, there's Crow. Maybe I could get him to drop the key somehow by like throwing a rock at him? Oh, they actually let me do that. They wouldn't let me do that in one of the other games. It's like, yeah, no, there's a crow there. I need to scare it away. Why don't I just yell at it or throw something at it? Nope, oh, can't do that. Have to find something to trade with it or something. All right, what would I need the key for? Oh, I need the key for the power box. I think that's a power box. Nope, it's a little utility box. Oh, I don't know what that last thing was, but I guess we don't need it. Okay, insulating tape and pliers, I bet go together. Yep, we did that in the last game. I don't, still don't know if I would trust myself doing that, but uh, that's just this. We got, and we need like we need to fix. Oh wait, can I use these boards to get over there? Oh, nice. A seltzer bottle. There was a wallet in there. I don't want the wallet. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can find. We need the bicycle chain. Can I use the pliers to get the bicycles? But the 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 bicycle chain off. I mean, I bet I could. That's one of the problems with these games. It's like, oh, you can't do that. I'm like, you want to bet? <laughs> you haven't seen me try to do things without the proper tool, have you? All right, now let's see. Pliers probably would also. Oh wait, what did I do? Pliers also would work for this, but then I just remembered we have a sledgehammer, so. Oh, I have to do it individually, huh? Rescue him. Okay, sure. You fool. Same to you. Ah, HP Lovecraft himself. No way I'm heading into the darkness in this creepy old place. I need some light. You know what? I have to agree with that. There's no power. Right. I knew that too. Can I go in there? No. Nope. Yeah. The owner of the cat with the worst name? What was Lovecraft's cat's name? Not gonna tell me? Can't leave me hanging like that, Aw Punk. Okay, the transformer. You need a feel Okay, well I know you I need a tool. Google it off stream. Oh, oh, I remember. I remember. Um, it was a terrible name because it was extremely racist. I forgot I knew that. Yeah, no, we're not going to mention that on stream. That's, uh, that's not a good name for a cat. Wait, I think I just lost my place. My brain was noping out on the cat name. There we go. 
So that is the yellow one. We did do this exact puzzle. I think it was a little less high def. Yeah, no, all of these games have pretty similar puzzles after a while. Um, it, it's the really good games that have the like very unique aspects to them. Um, but most of them just kind of have, yeah, that most of them just kind of have the same thing over and over again, which is fine. As long as there's something else interesting about the game, if there isn't no, go back over there, but I want, oh, fine. You go over there first. Is that better? Stupid thing. I, I, I know. Like I said, they, they reuse, uh, Companies will reuse assets and stuff like that. Okay, so now we have power. I guess we don't need to go over there anymore. Ah, the light is working now. And now I should be able to turn on the lights. Yeah. They. Was that a mirror or a doorway? I think it was a mirror. Enter the hotel. Okay. It's not really an achievement if you have to do it to beat the game game. Okay, that was a mirror. I turned the light on and the smoke was behind me. What is that supposed to be a picture of? Huh. That just looks like... Okay. This game's going to have weird noises in it. There's some light coming from under the door, but it seems locked from the inside. Do the first floor. Should we follow the smoke monster or go through the first floor? Something creepy. Let's go upstairs. The name on the portrait is John Kerwin, but he looks just like Charles. Okay, that's a decent portrait of Lovecraft, but that is not a good uh, portrait of Lovecraft. This also doesn't look like an hot a hotel that you would be excited to be. Um, oh, I hate these puzzles too. Doesn't look like a hotel you'd be excited to inherit it looks kind of like a death trap um oh i'm not usually afraid of shadows but that one gives me the chills i mean it's made of smoke and following you around so yes <laughs> yes you are right wait i gotta go back now <laughs> he does he looks like a cross between mark zuckerberg and hp lovecraft <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> back to the story. I'm dissolving into the outer world. My body has been worn out too much. I have need for new flesh, fresh container. The more like mine, the better. I shall find him with an invitation. Time cannot be underestimated. The container must be isolated and undisturbed for no less than three days. After three days and three nights, the container will be ready. Once again, I shall emerge renewed, powerful, and ready to continue my work. J. Kerwin. I was really concerned that this was a letter from the, the other guy, but this makes sense to be coming from him. Um, yeah, no, these just look like, like, Grant are um, old master paintings. They don't look particularly Lovecraftian, I guess. I can't reach the attic without a ladder. That's fair. And we're missing puzzles. And we're missing puzzles. And that door doesn't open for some reason. Okay. So nothing to do over there. And I can't do that yet. So I guess we're going back downstairs. Oh, the picture fell off the wall. Speaking of pictures, <gasps> a safe. <gasps> Dag nabbit. <laughs> you know what bothers me about these types of puzzles is they're really just like busy work. There's no figuring it out. You just have to, like, just, like, bulldoze through them until you get it right or until you can skip it. I tried that already, didn't I? Oh, there's one more. Yes, thank you. I didn't want to have to do that again. Okay, we have a diary, weird letters, a stamp. 
that kind of looks like a moldy potato, but it might be like a geode or something. And a newspaper. Spill it missing. Well-known reporter G. Spillett disappeared approximately a week ago. Known for his secretive reporting, he apparently went out on assignment without telling anyone. The local authorities have been notified and the hospitals and clinics are on alert. The only eyewitness to Spillett's last known whereabouts is a taxi driver who claims that Spillett exited his taxi in a remote shush, I'm reading, in a remote swamp area. Police conducted a search of the area, including an abandoned hotel that has been closed for 15 years, but found nothing of interest. If anyone reading this has any information regarding the whereabouts of G. Spillett, please contact the police or this publication. Okay. Okay, this picture on the left could be something weird, but I can't actually see what it is, so... That door was locked, right? Okay. Let's see. And another, oh, what did we get? We got number tiles. So that's for the upstairs hallway. Another letter. There was an altar, clearly sacrificial in use. The whole room gave off a sense of inhuman horror. I also saw an unusual device, a glass ball divided into three parts. Liquid was dripping from the ball into a bowl, maybe as means of telling time. I realized the door upstairs had opened and I ran, falling down the steps of the crypt. I kept going to the ferry. I think I lost my knife somewhere. Later, I found a gate in the garden leading to a labyrinth. It led me into a forest where I found a small house. There was an occult, there was occult paraphernalia inside. And the most interesting thing, the Necronomicon. One of the bookmarked pages described how to summon the shape of any dead ancestor from smoke. There you go. Necronomicon. Now we're, <gasps> look, Amber, it's a fedora. <laughs> Charles has been wearing that hat for years, except now it's on the floor. <laughs> uh, that, oh, all the doors in this house are going to have missing puzzle pieces, huh? We're going to play that game. Okay, well, let's go do the number puzzle since that's the one we have the key for. Was it that? Way? Yeah, this was, this was the number puzzle. You know, when I go to play games, I don't intend to do math homework. Just so we're clear. I'm not a math person. Hey, is there a math person watching? Erdite? Perhaps? You want to do my math homework for me? Erdite is a math major. Wow, oh, I did that on accident. What's the offer? I don't know. Less time with me staring at this stupid math problem? I'd say that's a pretty good trade. Wait. I forgot how math works. Um, I got, I wasn't told there would be math. No, I wasn't either. Wait, I didn't want to do that. Ooh, there, there we go. Well, so far I'm getting lucky by just moving stuff around at random. So maybe I don't need your help, right? Someone is stamping on my ceiling. I don't know why I'm saying someone. I know who they are. That would be youngest, whose room is right above my office. You would legit quit the game at this point. It's not that bad. You have a skip button. It warms up. Um, let me join that over there. Eat math. I apologize if anyone here likes math, but I do not. Math is not my friend. Math is never going to be my friend. No, I need a four, not a two. Thirty-five. And there's someone at my door again. It's amazing how much the signs don't work. Yes. No. And yes, you do. you totally have you totally have time. I gave you infinite time on your computer. Oh, I didn't change. Okay, fine. I I will give you more time on your computer. I'm, I'm changing it. There we go. Okay. Yikes. Ow, I bonked my hand again. Let's see. 
infinite travel time. None of us have infinite time. Now who's calling me? That is my son calling me on the phone. He can call somebody else. <laughs> he was just here. Why is he calling me? Oh, shush. Okay. Everybody stop being sarcastic in the comments. Ha ha ha. All right, I guess I'm answering this. Why are you calling me? You were just here 30 seconds ago. I'm sorry, what? Why did you call me? No, you're not talking to me about the math. Thank you for your offer, honey, but I, I, I'm... Wait. You are in front of the mic. I'm pretty sure that they can hear you. Hi, if, everybody. if not, my my youngest says hi to everyone. He wants to talk. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Okay. Thank you for the offer, though. Bye. Markiplier doesn't have to deal with this. <laughs> okay. Back to the map. Which I am failing at. Oh my gosh. No, Markiplier doesn't have three kids. He has a dog that we know of. I mean, that live with him. How about that? All right, we're, we're going to skip this now. Can I, sw I can switch any numbers I want. If you can give me a quick answer to this, I will do it. If not, I will just skip it. The dog does not talk about math. No, everyone in my house talks about math. It won't be quick. Okay, then I'm just going to skip it. I got... Half of it by guessing. Yes, I really want to skip. Ta da! What the heck was that? That looks like somebody with like a quiver of arrows on their back. Looking through the window, I notice a building on the other side of the lake. I reach the other side using an old ferry. The building was a crypt. Just, bleh, just after I entered the door. Just after I entered, the door slammed shut behind me. I could barely move. Despite my fear, I looked around and saw a bunch of numbered coffins, some, like something in a warehouse. While trying to get out, I accidentally moved the lid on one of the coffins. It was empty. After that, I found an entrance to the basement. My flashlight was catching tree roots that made eerie shadows, but it was nothing compared to what I saw next. That room made my hair stand on end. Well... I I guess coffin warehouses would have coffins. There's a building on the other side of the lake. Yes, I know they just told us that. Yes, yes. Well, actually, oh, can I look at that stuff? Do I actually? No, I don't think so. I, I wonder if it was a casket or a coffin. They are different. Ooh, an ax. I want that. Thank you. Picking clock. Oh, I can put the firewood in here, though I don't know why I need to. Fireplace poker. I do not have anything flammable yet. What is that? Weird. <laughs> yes. Uh, this isn't telling me anything. Huh. Weird. Yes. Well, unless it's a stone coffin and then the axe won't help. But then the sledgehammer would help. Did I get to keep the sledgehammer? Of course not. Okay. Um... I have, oh, the newspaper would go in here too. Unless I'm using it for an under the door thing again. Nope, I'm not. Can I use this and this to make a fishing pole? Nice. Okay, now I can get, what was it, the wheel? Sound effects in this game are pretty good. Wait, do I have to go? Yeah, I have to go this way to get to the... This game does not have a map, which is very useful in games where you have to go back and forth between places. Um, how much is this on Zillow? I don't know. It looks like it needs a lot of work. <laughs> Yay, I got the wheel. Okay. So now I should be able to do that. But I have to cut this. Uh, I didn't find- he said in one of- oh, I have an axe. Duh. Wait, you're not gonna let me use the axe? Really? Okay, there we go. Wait, what? Okay. 
Okay. I mean, I have infinite time. This shouldn't be a mini game, should it? Oh no, lightning! I should pay attention. There we go. There's at least a different kind of mini game. Are we just going in a complete circle or are we moving sideways in the. Oh, okay. Neither, I guess. Oh. Oh no! Well, that's not good. Oh no, the budget? <laughs> Dark Water! Oh my gosh, I wish Dark Water had finished. Somebody needs to remake that really badly. Oh, here we go. Pocket knife. Pocket knife fan mushroom. Mushroom fan. Dark Water was amazing and it just ended. It was so sad. I'm talking about the cartoon, by the way. I think there's something else called Dark Water that has come up a couple times when I've mentioned it. Monkey's Paw? What? Third rate, what are you talking about? I keep thinking that's a cucumber, but that is in fact corn. And that's a pickle. Footprint. I mean, Amazon Prime video did good omens. That was awesome. What are you both talking about? A monkey's paw. No, I understand that. I don't want Amazon to remake Dark Water. I want... Probably Netflix. They make good cartoons. I don't know. Does, has Amazon made any good cartoons? Because I can't think of anything right now except Dark Water. And Monkey's Paw. Yep, there's a knife. You asked someone to finish Dark Water, so I reacted with a Monkey's Paw situation. Oh! I knew that. Can I ply that up with that? No. Whoa! Sorry, I clicked off. I'm still not using Echo. Wooden sign. What 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 do I need this for? Why do I need to pry the board up? It's probably a better question. Crypt entrance. Oh no! Why doesn't the smoke just like destroy me? I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to do anything. That's creepy. That figure took a path behind the fence, but I need something to press down the bushes. Oh, that would be what the board is for. Okay, well, not doing that yet, so let's go in the crypt. Wait, I thought he went outside. Ah! Yep, there's the numbered coffins. Oh, look, there's scratch marks inside. How pleasant. Today, I decided to learn more about Kerwin. I found and studied various papers, and a lot of it is unsettling. Almost all the literature in this house refers to sorcery, necromancy, or black magic. I've also found correspondence with someone named Simon Orne, uh -huh. most likely Kerwin's partner in crime. They wrote using antiquated phrases as if they were living in the past. There was also a file of articles about grave robbing. Someone had been stealing the bodies of famous writers mathematicians and philosophers. There was a separate folder with information about a Charles Dexter Ward. Ker Kerwin's interest in him is hard to decipher. Wait, aren't I Charles Dexter Ward? Who am I in this? No, I'm the sister. It's my brother's name. Yeah, in case you need to know what books like. I mean, those are specific books. Yeah, that's what I thought. So who was that thing from? I don't understand. Seven. Yes, I know those are the drawings of specific books. That's what I meant. Gargoyles. Oh, what's up here? A window. I'm brave, but not foolish. I can't jump out a window without a rope or something. It depends on what's chasing you locked. And there's a hatch here, but I need a handle to pull it up. How about that? 
No? Alright. I mean, I'm not entirely sure when this takes place, but I'm pretty sure it's pre-born movies. Wait, was that my exit out of here? Oh, I see. I'm trapped. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Can I jimmy this open? Alright, let's light the torch. Okay, now I have a lit torch. I can set things on fire. Not sure why I need to do that, but... Wait, there was a torch hanger here. Can I put it there? Nope. Why do I need a lit torch? Unless I'm gonna burn the place down. I have a... Wait, what does this say? A number in a crypt seems a little sad. Oh. Okay. Come on. Wait, it's too dark. Oh, I mean, I'm holding a torch. Oh, that's creepy. Salvation is in the Necronomicon, chapter 13. It must be found. Find your brother Charles. My poor brother, he looks dead, but he's still breathing. I have to find a way to help him. This is definitely worrying, yes. The container is divided into three even parts, and one part is almost empty. Couldn't I just smash it? Or, like, take him with me? Oh, okay, I took whatever that is. Maybe put it underneath there? Oh, that's Cthulhu. Oh no, not this puzzle? Wait, what? There's no puzzle yet. Wh why? Why is that there? Why was there a rope fence down here? I mean, I guess I probably need it for something, but why? Wait, what puzzle is this? Because you're not supposed to go there. And tour groups. I don't know why I'm listening to the sentences you're saying. <laughs> Can I use- oh, am I doing that? That is the dumbest idea I have ever seen. Oh, there's probably one that you move the water between three jugs. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Um, I now have a bowl. How did that help me? What kind of creep locks someone inside a crypt? Oh, I forgot to turn off my alarm. It's eight o'clock, everyone. In my house, that means it's quiet time. I have left my brother to die, though I'm not sure how um, fit I am. I might not be able to... Oh, a crowbar. I walked right over that. Would not have done that in real life. Um, I don't know how strong I am. I might not actually be able to bring him up the stairs. Dude, that would totally work. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I could totally break that with a crowbar. Turn off your video game. It's quiet time. No! I'm the mom. I don't have to do what anybody tells me. Um, think if I- oh! Am I supposed to spray him with the seltzer bottle? Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like a Marx Brothers comedy. Alright, there's nothing else in here. Do I still have the fire? Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm turning off my phone. Come on. Oh, what the heck is my phone doing now? Why is everything thwarting me? Just want to turn off the phone! I beg your pardon? No! Can I turn off my phone, please? Oh my gosh, it's not letting me turn- I, I give up. My phone isn't letting me turn it off. I don't know why. Okay. Haunted phone. Yeah, it's like... Ugh, whatever. Alright, so now I have to get this board up. I have a knife. I'm going to murder someone. And it's going to be on the live stream. I knew this day would come, but I didn't think it would come so soon. What on earth is going on with my stupid freaking phone? What? 
I don't want to say hi to someone. I want to turn off my damn phone. Go away. How to power off your phone? Since when did they change how you power off my phone? I apologize to everyone. Apparently, technology hates me at the moment. Yeah, no, it's, n it's literally not going to let me turn my phone off. Holy crow. The crowbar. Oh, shush, you. I'm trying to turn off my ghost phone, okay? There. <gasps> All right. I don't know why I can't suddenly turn off my phone. Oh, I'm going to use the haunted bowl to... Oh, what's this? I think I can patch up the hole with something soft. Okay, I do not have anything soft as of yet. And there's nothing in the boat. Wait, what's over here? I'm gonna use moss to, pause the, to patch the boat and then I'm gonna be okay with sailing it somewhere. At this point, I would like to fall, call upon um, Erdite Bard to figure out why, in fact, the smallest of our childrens are calling me over and over and over again. And somebody needs to figure out why my phone won't turn off. Okay, he's not the smallest, he's the youngest. Great, it looks like the shadow has taken out the whole the hotel's electricity again. I heard him coming down the stairs. He's coming for me. Wait, what is this? Oh, was that the end of the demo? I spent so much time with the phone. Actually, I think it was event-based, not time-based. I don't want spoilers. Not that this is very spoilery, but there we go. It is close to an hour, which I think just happened. Yep, my free trial is over. And I heard someone coming down the stairs, so... I assume someone is going to come and bonk on my door in a moment. Um, yeah, so what is going on? Now my phone is vibrating. Saying hi to Bixby. Does anyone know what Bixby is, how it got on my phone, and why it won't let me shut my phone off now? I, I just want to turn off my phone. I mean, now I don't care as much because my, my, my cell phone. My actual honest to goodness cell phone is not letting me turn it off. Instead, it just opens this program that I've never heard of before. No, I don't want to create a reminder. I want to turn off the phone. What would you like to be? Now? <laughs> it is it's like Cortana took over my cell phone. What the freak? Nope, that's the volume. It says I'm supposed to hold down it. <gasps> I figured it out. Power off, you jerk. I I did just hold down the power button. When I did that, it turned on the weird robot person in my phone that just randomly appeared today or an hour ago or whatever. Jeez Louise. I'm sorry. <laughs> this was a rather disjointed let's play. <laughs> um... No, I'm not going to hold it underwater. Thanks for this suggestion, though, third rate. Um, okay, so that was Charles Dexter Ward, the first part of it anyway, with innumerable interruptions. Definitely going to buy that one so we can play the rest of it because it was at least, at least it had a plot and it worked, which are two good things, and it had... Puzzles that weren't all exactly the same, which is a problem we were having in the one of the other series. But no time travel. There might still be time travel. You never know. Uh, it is, in fact, a hotel, and it does, in fact, appear to be haunted, though. So we've gone in the correct direction there. I'm thinking uh, we were doing hidden verse games. I did three hidden verse games. And I think I've decided I'm probably not going to do the rest of that series, though I might buy the last game. So I'm going to be looking for a new game to play that isn't hidden verse. So we'll have to look and see what I can find there. I'm not sure what I'm going to, to do for that. But I guess since 
the universe is trying to tell me that I should get off the computer, I will get off the computer. So thanks for hanging out with me for a while. Um, I'm Fate Touch, and I will see you later. Bye.